tell me that any time you have any questions, don't hesitate, just ask so that we proceed after clarifying all the doubts in your minds. First thing is that why is the earth not collapsing under its own weight? Gravity is always attractive. Why is the earth not this gravitational contract? Similarly, you can ask, why is the sun? This is a huge object, mass of the sun. So, sun, it's anything to do with sun is used, the symbol used is a circle with a dot. So, circle with a dot represents sun. So, one solar mass, mass of the sun, is about 3 into 10 to the power 30 kilos. Okay. And it's a huge object. And the radius of the sun, okay, radius of the sun is, similarly I write one solar radius, is about 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 meters. So it's a huge object. And you might ask, why is the sun not just collapsing under its own weight? Because gravity is always attractive. Gravity is never repulsive until something happened recently in cosmology that I will not talk about. So the real reason why certain things are in equilibrium is because of pressure. So pressure maintains something called a hydrostatic equilibrium. So in other words, what we can do is we can say that supposing I want to have a huge object we'll talk about spherically symmetric object so supposing you have a spherically symmetric object that is there is no rotation as you know if you have rotation the object will no longer be spherically symmetric because if there is a rotation centrifugal forces will make a greater bulge out so we'll keep our talk simple but the real Physical objects, they are, of course, in general, they have rotation. So, when people do research, they have to also take into account rotation. But our purpose is to give the basic physics idea, and we will assume that our astrophysical object is a spherically symmetric gravity bar. So, you have an object which is spherically symmetric, and in your mind, you can think that I am talking about a sun. It can be anything, it can be And we want to understand why is it that an object so heavy, why is it collapsing under its own gravity? The way to do it is that take one shell. So, supposing you take a spherical shell, very thin shell, at a radial distance r. The whole thing has a capital R radius, but take a thin spherical shell of radius r. And imagine the mass interior to the shell, that mass is m of r. So as you go outward, as r increases, you are covering more and more radial distance, so therefore the mass becomes bigger and bigger. But this m of r is all the mass with radius less than r. That means it is a mass of the solid sphere of radius r. And we ask ourselves, fine, this is okay. We ask ourselves that if I take a shell and the thickness, you can imagine that this thickness is dr. This thickness is very small, is dr. Now we ask, fine, if I take a small volume element, small element, whose this extent, the surface area is d over this. So a small segment of the spherical shell I take, and that segment has area to me, thickness of course is dr. And I ask, what is the amount of force this small vol volume element, what is the force it experiences due to gravity? 
So can someone tell me what is the force acting on this element due to the gravity? What is the gravitational force acting due to the outside mass on this object? Outside mass. There is some force being exert exerted by the inner mass of mass MR. The answer to the first question is easy. If you have a spherically symmetric shell inside, you will not see any gravitational force. Why? There are many ways of looking at it. One way of looking at it is if you are inside the shell, spherically symmetric shell, inside the gravitational potential is constant. If the gravitational potential is constant, force will be zero because force is a gradient of the potential. If the potential is constant, the gradient of the potential will be zero. Therefore, there is no force. There are many other ways of doing it because we can say that if there is one object here in the shell, take any point, the force of attraction in this direction is cancelled by other equilibrium. So the outer shell doesn't exert any gravity. Entire gravity which this volume element feels is due to the mass inside. Okay. How much is that force? The force, according to Newton's law, is inward directed and the force will be minus g. So minus g mr by r squared multiplied by the mass of this element. So mass of the element, how will you find out? Supposing you know the density as a function of r. If you know the function, density function, so rho of r, in general the density also depends upon r. So rho will depend upon r, rho r into the volume element, that will be the mass. What is the volume element? dA into dr. dA into dr, dA is the area, area and thickness will be the volume. So that is the gravitational force acting on this volume element negative because it's going inwards. Now, this is the force. But why doesn't this volume element go inside? That is because there is a pressure. Earth has a, the outer crust is solid. So solid also, if you try to press the solid, because your hand can't go through, my hand can't go through the table. If I push it, there is a pressure which exerts. So solid objects, the pressure counters the gravitational attraction. 